What's up, guys? Midweek is here with Champions League. Exciting matches are on your way. And we are going to take you through Group E match of Barcelona Benfica. The last time round, it wasn't a, it wasn't an easy task for Barcelona because they considered three goals to nil against Benfica. It was different ball game together because the first Barcelona is never is not now Barcelona as Xavi took over some few days ago and it's, it's and it is looking glossy for Barcelona. Champions League is Champions League. If you didn't tight, if you don't tight your belt very well, it will go against you. As right now, Xavi is preparing to play against Benfica. What's your take on generally about the match, Paul? Well, um, the match is going to be a difficult match. It's really going to be a difficult match because um, we can say because Xavi has now arrived um, in Barcelona, so everything is going to go well for Barcelona, or things will just start turning around. It's not. It doesn't happen that way. It doesn't happen. On their previous match in La Liga, um, which helped them prevent the locks that they were actually having, but. Benfica is no small team. Benfica is no small team. And Benfica has really, 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 has really, really improved over the years. The last time, yeah, the last time, Benfica, 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 Benfica scored Barcelona. Three, Barcelona. Zero, 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 three, zero, 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 three, zero, 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 zero,
miss some um, rules for the squad. It has actually affected the fans too. Once they see that the club legend has come back to the club, who actually plays the same philosophy as Crive, as Pep Cajola, and uh, Luis Henrique, and it's now the turn of Xavi. All fans are interested, and I'm looking forward to seeing the fans come in in their numbers as they came in the derby, uh, the last game. And um, so I'm seeing that every fan would like to cheer the team on, because now with the current squad uh, coach head and leading the, the team, it's nothing but glories on our way. So the fans are going to do their part, and the players will do their part, and at the end of the day, you stay with our three points and enjoy our time. It's, go- it's all going to be grozy for the fans. So what technical changes will you, will you do you think Xavi will do going into this game? Okay, so looking at uh, Kuman's tactics, which uh, was actually it was, it was crazy. Kuman played a 3 5 three, but the kind of selections he did was also not the Barca standard, as in playing Luke Dijon in front. That alone could show that now the team we had was not good. So if you looked, uh, if you watched the game earlier, we had no width. The football was stagnant. As in the Benfica used counter attacks on us, and once we are not taking our chances, and Benfica had the with their counter, they actually punished us. Um, tomorrow's game is not going to be like that. I'm seeing Zavi trying to play a lot of holding midfielders, as well as. Uh, Sometime in the game, introduce the likes of Dembele. Well, I'm hoping to see Dembele and tomorrow's game to change the pace of the game. And on a more round, the confidence built in the pay. So I think um, the tactics is going to be hold the ball, let them come around, let's push them to their wall, and let's look for goals. Hold the ball, let's push them, and then they will come out and we get the goals. That's always Barcelona symbol when they are playing, attacking, attacking, attacking. Currently, it's going to be all glossy for Barcelona, and we wish them the best of luck to go through to this final, uh, to go through to this uh, round of 16. Because if you are not good enough, you can't get there. If you are new to the channel, type in the subscription button. Let's get into it as we are as a community together.